In Yellowstone National Park, geologists say one of the park's famous geyser basins now has a new hot spring. Scientists say this new thermal feature popped up in Norris Geyser Basin recently. In the tranquil solitude of Yellowstone National Park, where bison herds roam past sizzling geysers and bubbling hot springs, a much more dangerous force is moving beneath the surface. For years, scientists have studied the Yellowstone caldera, one of Earth's most powerful supervolcanoes, with a mix of interest and fear. But this time, something strange has occurred, something that has caused shockwaves throughout the entire scientific community. The United States Geological Survey, or USGS, has issued a red alert, the most severe warning on its volcanic hazard scale. This is not about tiny earthquakes or a few agitated geysers. This is about magma, the molten core of a supervolcano that changes course under the Earth. For decades, Yellowstone's magma chamber has moved in very regular patterns. However, that flow has suddenly reversed direction, upsetting everything geologists believe they knew about the ecosystem. This is not a Hollywood catastrophe film. It is real, and if the new magma conduit destabilizes the volcanic infrastructure below, we might be in for a chain reaction with global ramifications. From hydrothermal explosions and earth ruptures to far-reaching ashfall that could cripple electricity systems, ruin agriculture, and disrupt air transport for weeks. So what sparked the red alert? What exactly does the magma's change direction mean? And how close are we to seeing Yellowstone's next eruption? Let's look at the science, the risk, and the looming problem beneath America's most renowned national park. The USGS does not use the phrase red alert lightly. It is a classification designated for instances in which a volcanic eruption is imminent, ongoing, or poses a major threat to human life, infrastructure, or aircraft. Most people connect this type of alert with exploding volcanoes in Hawaii or the Pacific Ring of Fire, not the breathtaking scenery of Wyoming. However, in late July, USGS volcanologists discovered something previously unknown, a significant shift in the direction of Yellowstone's subsurface magma flow. This isn't just a seismic blip or a temporary spike in geothermal activity. Yellowstone's magma system has always operated in accordance with recognized geological features, such as pressure gradients, rock density, and fault lines. Under these natural limits, magma tends to travel northeast. However, it is currently traveling southwest, defying the region's long-standing geological paradigm. This directional shift is important for two reasons. First, it indicates that the magma chamber's physical architecture is changing. Something underground, cracks, channels, or supporting rock strata has changed, deteriorated, or collapsed. Second, it shows that pressure is rising in a new zone, which has not previously been classified as high risk. In fact, Yellowstone is not simply heating up. It is also reorganizing itself. A convergence of data, including seismic tomography, satellite radar imaging, and ground-based temperature readings corroborated the change prompting the red warning. This trio showed not only a new magma route, but also evidence that the earth above it is swelling, a worrisome indicator that the molten rock is approaching the surface. With the magma moving in a new path, the symptoms of Yellowstone's subsurface change get more severe by the day. What looked to be a robust geothermal ecology is now showing symptoms of fragmentation and instability. First, the seismic signature of the park has shifted drastically. Scientists have detected an increase in harmonic tremors, which are low-frequency, continuous earthquakes triggered by magma movement rather than tectonic plate motion. These vibrations are not your typical quakes. They indicate the continued transit of molten rock via underground tunnels, and they frequently serve as the first warning indicators of an upcoming eruption. Second, satellite infrared data shows the formation of hotspots in formerly thermally calm areas. Ground temperatures in the park's southwestern portion have risen fast, indicating that new heat pathways are forming closer to the surface. These are not isolated anomalies. They are part of a larger thermal footprint that corresponds to the magma's new course. Third, Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs are malfunctioning. Dormant geysers in the southwest sector have erupted unexpectedly, sending boiling water aloft. Some formerly reliable geysers are now spouting erratically or not at all. New steam vents are appearing in unexpected places, and tiny fluctuations in the water table have been discovered. 
The most concerning indicator, however, is the level of gas emissions. Scientists have detected a significant rise in sulfur dioxide, a chemical commonly linked with rising magma. These emissions are not simply increasing. They are also becoming more concentrated in the direction of the magma's current movement. Together, this evidence indicates that Yellowstone's once reliable patterns are unraveling and a new, far less predictable phase is emerging. What makes the magma's movement even more scary is the potential domino effect it might have under the Earth. Yellowstone's volcanic system is managed by a complex equilibrium of molten rock, high-pressure gas, groundwater, and cracked crust. That equilibrium has now been thrown off, which is a prescription for disaster in the geological world. With new magma channels emerging, formerly dormant pressure points are reactivating. As molten rock enters these zones, it can fracture the surrounding rock layers, creating new channels for heat and pressure to accumulate. These formerly low-risk locations might become new eruption sites or hydrothermal blast zones, capable of unleashing superheated water, steam, and rock with explosive intensity. And these are not theoretical hazards. The areas that are now heating up include significant groundwater reserves. If the water suddenly comes into touch with rising magma or compressed rock, it might flash to steam, causing a hydrothermal explosion without warning. These sorts of explosions can occur in seconds and scatter debris over miles. They are little in comparison to a major eruption, yet they are incredibly unpredictable. Worse, satellite scans reveal that the magma is spreading laterally, like a fan, rather than in a straight path. This signifies that the entire system is under strain, and numerous weak points may burst at the same time. Even a single eruption vent is deadly, but many at once. That is not a scenario that any disaster model has ever completely planned for. The crust above Yellowstone is beginning to bulge, subtly, but measurable. That type of deformation indicates that pressure is building up. And in a region as volatile as a supervolcano, that upward thrust might indicate that the Earth is poised to unleash its anger in unexpected areas. As magma reconfigures the Earth under Yellowstone, emergency services are ready for the consequences above ground, and not just within the park. Even a mild eruption poses a significant hazard beyond Wyoming's borders. Yellowstone is near numerous important commercial aviation routes. Even a modest ash cloud might prompt the FAEA to close major air routes, grounding thousands of aircraft across the United States. Volcanic ash is more than simply a site issue. It may harm aircraft engines by melting into glass and blocking crucial systems. Airlines are already assessing emergency rerouting plans, and the FAA has strengthened satellite and radar surveillance over the caldera. Meanwhile, FEMA and the National Guard are working with the USGS to deploy mobile sensors and identify a potential evacuation zones. These systems detect gas emissions, seismic movements, and temperature changes in real time. Unlike earthquakes, which typically hit once and then pass, a volcanic event might occur gradually or unexpectedly. Uncertainty makes response coordination a nightmare. Then there's the ashfall. If Yellowstone erupted, the biggest hazard would not be lava, but rather fine, lethal ash that might spread hundreds or even thousands of miles depending on wind patterns. Cities in the Midwest, Pacific Northwest, and even the East Coast may see their skies darken with ash, resulting in health dangers, tainted water, and power outages. Crops would fail, transportation would halt. Even if no one is killed by lava or rock, the economic consequences might cripple the country. Yellowstone's new magma trajectory has placed previously safe communities firmly in risk. That implies that any new tremor under the park might have far-reaching consequences for America that we haven't even considered. While people struggle to analyze data and plan for disasters, nature is already reacting to Yellowstone's changes. The magma shift is more than simply a geological occurrence. It is also an ecological upheaval, taking place in real time across forests, rivers, and animal corridors. Thermal cameras have detected higher ground temperatures in the southwestern park region, resulting in unusual patterns in animal activity. Bison and elk, who are instinctually aware of geothermal variations, are increasingly bypassing historic migration paths in favor of colder places. Entire herds are skipping regular grazing places, implying that they detect danger when people perceive calm. 
ground nesting bird species have abandoned critical habitats, particularly those near recently exposed steam vents and geysers. Park biologists are tracking their unexpected movements, noting that wildlife movement is sometimes the earliest warning sign of a major calamity. When the land changes, animals notice. The vegetation is also displaying signs of stress. In regions where the earth has suddenly heated, trees are dying in groups. Microbial life in hot springs is also changing, with heat-tolerant species replacing mosses and bacteria that have lasted for ages in stable temperatures transforming entire mini-ecosystems. Yellowstone's famous geysers, like Old Faithful, are also becoming unpredictable. Some are exploding less regularly, some more frequently, and a few have gone absolutely quiet. These modifications may appear little, but in a geothermal system, predictability is important. When geysers cease working regularly, it signals something has shifted beneath them, and not for the better. Nature seemed to be ticking alongside the magma. If the current trends continue, it will disrupt not only geology, but also the entire biological cycle of one of Earth's most complex living systems. Yellowstone is no longer merely a symbol of natural splendor. It is now a source of worldwide geological worry. The alteration in magma flow underneath the park is not a small occurrence. It has altered the risk landscape for millions of individuals, ecosystems, industries, in countries. The USGS's RED alert was more than simply a technical update. It was a warning that the Earth's fundamental processes are changing dramatically and unexpectedly. In response, the scientific community is scrambling to adapt. NASA and the European Space Agency have moved their satellites to monitor heat signatures, ground uplift, and deformation patterns in real time. Global volcanic sites, including Italy's Campi Flegre and New Zealand's Taupo, are being re-examined for similar warning indications. If Yellowstone's conduct has altered, will others follow? Insurance firms are updating their risk models. Governments are secretly studying supply chain collapse scenarios in case volcanic ash disrupts agriculture and transportation. Emergency services are conducting drills, and scientists are using machine learning to predict magma movements before they occur. And through it all, arguably the most important growth at the human level is consciousness. The public's understanding of volcanic systems is increasing. People are asking questions. Schools educate earth sciences. Museums are holding emergency preparedness events. Because Yellowstone is no longer just a tourist destination, it is a survival case study. We are at a crossroads at which the earth itself is shifting, and how we respond, with science, readiness, and cooperation, may determine how mankind weathers the next big awakening beneath our feet.